Yum, yum! William Vaughn here with a quick exploration of the mesh op stacking order when working with the Pushing Points Mop Booleans kit for Moto. When working with Mop Booleans, it's important to understand mesh operation stacking order. Let's have a look. I'll start by taking this basic cube mesh and creating a new Mop Boolean build using the standard option. I'll subtract this cube from the base mesh by selecting the cube in item mode, shift selecting the base cube, then using add to subtract driver from the add driver options. If I move this additional cube into place and add it to a union driver, it'll disappear. Let's take a closer look to understand what's happening. If we select the mop build and look at the mesh op stack and remember that Moto reads the stack from bottom to top, we can see that all the union operations happen before subtraction. But if we drag the union above the subtract, we can see a very different result. The subtraction happens first, then the small cube is added with the union after. Using the default mop build, you have full control over what order your operations are stacked. An alternate build is available and it's what I use to create this tripod sketch. If I select this toroid and use the alternate build, the stacking order is organized in a very different order as seen here. It's important to understand that each asset you build might require a different stacking order and there's no right or wrong way to order them. Quite often I never need to change the order when using either of the build options but you'll want to feel comfortable with this aspect of mop boolean so that you can give yourself the freedom to build more complex boolean structures within a single build. Explore both options and you'll quickly find which one works best for your workflow. Yum, yum!